Breaking on 4 News Now at 6, the entire city of Athol, Idaho is being told to leave their homes because of a wildfire. We are live near the flames with the latest. The extreme heat will continue and so will our weather alert days. I'll explain the new danger showing up in the first alert forecast. And laid off teachers are being hired back in Central Valley. The difference it's already making for the school district. You're watching 4 News Now at 6. We begin with the breaking news out of Kootenai County this evening. Fire crews battling a fire just outside of Athol, Idaho. That is north of Silverwood. The fire already forcing more than 700 people living in Athol to leave their homes. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. Now, since 5 o'clock, we've learned that sections of both Highway 95 and 54 are closed to assist with evacuation efforts. The fire's burning on Sarah Loop, which is south of Highway 54. For the map on your screen gives you a perspective. Let's send it out to our Vanessa Perez, who is live in Athol tonight. And Vanessa, what have you learned in the last hour? Well, Idaho State Police still has many roads around Athol blocked off. I'm standing right next to Highway 95, and it, you can see the fire in the distance here. Uh, the smoke is there, and we're actually at a Conoco gas station, and there are a couple evacuees here. One of them told me that they live really close to the fire. You can see that they have their dogs and their personal belongings. There are also some evacuation shelters set up for people impacted by the Sarah Loop fire. Um, one of those is really Life Ministries here in Athol. The other one is Timberlake High School, and that'll be ready closer to 6 p.m. Um, that one's in Spirit Lake. We've been in contact with Silverwood, uh, the Silverwood media and they tell us that they have been in contact with the local fire department and there are no evacuations as of right now. Um, Athol is a town about se of about 700 people and everyone is supposed to evacuate. Of course, we'll continue to bring you more information about the Sarah Loop fire. Live in Athol, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now. Vanessa, thank you for that update. And we told you about this fire first on the 4 News Now app. Be sure to download the KXLY app and turn on notifications to receive emergency alerts you need to know about sent straight to your phone. No matter where you are, Chris, that is what is so important about those apps. They can find you. And I'm joined now by Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker to talk more about this record-breaking heat that the fire crews are up against. Uh, yes, today was a weather alert day. We have two more in the forecast because of this record-breaking heat. We want to take you right to the Athol area where it is still 100 degrees. Got up well above 100 uh, earlier this afternoon. It's 102 in Spirit Lake. Gives you an idea of what kind of temperatures firefighters are working in. A bit of good news, the winds have been generally quite light. We have northwest winds at just three miles per hour in Athol right now. So the calm conditions are a good thing. They are not going to stay calm for too much longer. We have gusty winds showing up as we get closer to the weekend. I'll talk more about that coming up in your seven day forecast. But first, I want to show you our current temperatures around the region. A lot of locations still in the triple digits, including Spokane at 101 degrees. It's 105 in Grand Coulee, 106 in Lewiston. We had a number of records broken today, and I'll talk more about that later in the newscast. But first, I do want to show you that we did easily break the record in Spokane. We got up to 102 degrees. 99 was the previous record and that was set back in 1901. So an impressive record broken. Our excessive heat warning in the area shaded in pink continues all the way through Thursday. Looks like we're going to be right in that uh, 100 degree range for the next couple of days. The area shaded in orange. That is a heat advisory. You're not going to be much cooler in Sandpoint, Bonners Ferry, as well as Kellogg. Here's a look at your Wednesday planner. 84 is our average high. We're heading up to a high of 101. Could see some haze early tomorrow morning. We're seeing a shift in our winds, bringing in some wildfire smoke from a fire burning in the North Cascades. So if you wake up to the hazy conditions, that will be the, uh, where that is coming from. Then we are into the sunshine, very hot conditions and winds generally light tomorrow, but then those winds pick up and so does our concern about fire danger. I will tell you about a fire weather watch in just a few minutes. Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. 
Now to more breaking news out of West Spokane happening right now. A major crash on eastbound Interstate 90 at the Garden Springs exit. This is a live look for you. You see the first responders there uh, working in the uh, shoulder. And WSP says the first responders are in the process of cutting someone out of a badly smashed vehicle that ended up along the embankment. Traffic is gridlocked, as you can see in that area. One lane, we know at least one eastbound lane is open right now. No word on when other lanes of traffic will be open. We will be monitoring this crash and update you during this newscast. Heat is the number one weather-related killer in the United States. That's according to the National Weather Service. The CDC saying the people most at risk are those 65 and older, anyone with high blood pressure, and people who work outside. So the key to keeping your family safe during this heat is recognizing the warning signs of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. That includes things like dizziness, nausea, vomiting, and muscle cramps. One doctor with MultiCare says the best way to prevent heat-related illness is to limit your exposure. So, you know, doing chores or running errands when early in the morning or in the evening when it's less hot and kind of avoiding being outside for a prolonged time in the middle of the day. We have more breaking news from Seattle tonight. A Bellevue motorcycle officer suffered serious injuries while on Vice President Kamala Harris's service detail this afternoon. According to the Washington State Patrol, the 39-year-old officer reportedly fell between 50 and 60 feet off the Michigan Street on-ramp and landed in the southbound lanes of I-5. Traffic was stopped to transport the officer to Harborview Medical Center. Officials say he was conscious and alert while being transported. A man accused of assaulting a woman in the middle of the day on a hiking trail in Liberty Lake is now facing child rape charges in a separate case. This is Ethan Cunningham. He was arrested in early June after a woman reportedly was violently assaulted and choked by him during a walk. Sheriff's deputies say they caught him using a Flock ALPR camera that captured an image of his license plate. He's been held on $200,000 bail ever since, and he's now being accused of raping and assaulting a 15-year-old girl on multiple occasions when they entered into a relationship in early 2020. At the time, he was nearly 21 years old. His bond for the new charges was set at $150,000. And this afternoon, Cunningham pleaded not guilty to all seven new charges. His trial is scheduled for October 9th. Well, the Central Valley School District is slowly bringing back teachers. They laid off. 58 teachers lost their jobs just a few months back after the district saw enrollment drop and pandemic relief funds used to hire these teachers ran out. Well, now the district is starting to bring some staff back ahead of the school year and is going to be bringing back more depending on enrollment. Our Bronte Saratsky explains what this will mean for the district as they head into the new school year. In about a month, Central Valley students will head back to the classroom, although with about 50 less teachers than they had last year. But the union says they're working to get all of these teachers back. And they are put on a callback list. Um, that means that if a job comes open, it's, there's no interview. They are our employees, they're good employees, and they will be given a job should they choose to, to come back. 58 teachers were laid off due to a combination of flat enrollment and federal COVID money used to hire these teachers running out. Over 20 of them took substitute teaching jobs instead. While still employed, they no longer make a teacher salary or have union membership. You know, my, my advice to every single one of those was take any job that you can get. You know, they have to look out for themselves. Central Valley School District will be here. Um, hopefully we get them back. But, you know, I have more concern that they get a job, a full-time job in the teaching profession. Without these relief funds, the district says it started using levy funds to supplement, but found that method was unsustainable. Um, the electives is where it becomes a little different with, uh, with that. So there might not be as many um, things that they could look at that way, but maybe they could look at club activities or other things instead of a teacher um, teaching somebody that may only have two students that are interested in it. The district says students had concerns that their extracurricular programs could end. Activities like sports won't be affected, but smaller electives could be cut. Again, those fringe choices might not be there, but all the large choices, the athletics, the drama programs, all of those things are, are still there. The district won't have anything finalized until at least October. And because the school district is basing these teaching jobs on enrollment, some teachers might not find out if they have a job until school starts. 
Reporting in Spokane Valley, Bronte Sorotsky, 4 News Now. The man accused of killing a family of four in Kellogg in June will move forward to trial. Major John Kaler waived his preliminary hearing this week, meaning the defense acknowledges there's enough evidence to move forward. Kaler is accused of killing Kenneth and Kenna Gardapi, 18-year-old Devin and 16-year-old Aiken Smith. Court documents say Kaler told police he was upset that Devin Smith exposed himself to his young daughters and that police didn't do anything about it. Prosecutors have already said they will not seek the death penalty in the case. And the next step is a hearing where Kaler will enter a plea to the charges. Still ahead on 4 News Now, some seniors struggling to cool down. The organization Meals on Wheels handing out fans to help the community beat the heat. You can find out more on how to get a free fan and whether you are qualified to get a free AC unit this summer. Coming up on 4 News Now at 6. Certain Kia and Hyundai models just like this one have become the target for thieves. How your auto insurance can pay the price if you own one. Coming up next. Track live radar on the 4 News Now weather app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Move Fitness. America, it's the Discover Summer Sales Event. When you say you're going to get married on Good Morning America? I'm saying yes to marriage. You better set a date. You're invited to one joyous bachelorette party. Celebrate Robin and her fiancé Amber right before they say I do. Only on GMA. The time to buy is now. Yes, RV show pricing continues at r and RV in North Spokane. Over 125 RVs are indoors at 525 East Francis. You'll save thousands with rebates and show discounts on Cougar, Rockwood, Montana, Class B vans, and more. Everything show price. You don't want to shop in this heat. Shop over 125 RVs indoors. Now at r and RV in North Spokane, 525 East Francis, or online at r and rvcom as wildfire season approaches, don't let bad air quality infiltrate your home. With air scrubbers from Bill's Heating and AC, you can protect your loved ones from harmful particles and allergens. Our state-of-the-art air scrubbers utilize advanced technology to purify the air in your home. And for a limited time, you can get an air scrubber installed for only $795. Don't miss out on this incredible offer. Call Bill's Heating and AC today and experience the joy of pure, fresh air in your home. The new Double Pepperoni Crazy Crust Pizza is so nice, we pepperonied it twice. With classic and old world pepperoni, sprinkled with toasted cheeses and garlic parm crust, you've got to see it slow more. Available for $8.99 only at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. It's here. The Epson Tour Road to the LPGA, August 21st through the 27th. Presented by Circling Raven Golf Club and 4 News Now. Circling Raven Golf Club has once again been chosen to host this women's professional golf tournament, August 21st through the 27th. More than 150 pros from 30 countries will compete for shares of the $200,000 purse. Come see the game's rising stars. The Epson Tour Road to the LPGA. Presented by Circling Raven Golf Club and 4 News Now. America, come along with our adventure seekers, the Sanchez family, and discover summer with the Ford F-150. Lease a well-equipped 2023 F-150 for just $3.99 a month, only at your local Ford dealer. There has been a recent uptick in car thefts and vandalism, especially among Kia and Hyundai owners. Here in Spokane, police say groups of teenagers have been arrested in connection with these thefts, with the most recent happening over the weekend. This uptick in crime is now prompting insurance providers to change their coverage for certain Kia and Hyundai owners. And 4 News Now's Natalie Grant is live for us tonight. So Natalie, you spoke to insurance agents today. How could some be feeling the impact? Well, Kirsten, that agent that I spoke with today said in the last six months, there's been some big changes in what kind of cars insurance providers will and will not cover with criminals targeting models of Kias and Hyundais just like this one. And in most cases, causing some big damage. It's heartbreaking to hear that excitement. Oh, I'm approved. I love this vehicle. It smells amazing. We're going on a road trip. This is the one. We've been looking for it forever. And to say to that person, I'm sorry, but you cannot 
purchase this vehicle. These are the conversations Aaron LeBlanc with Northtown Insurance says that he is having to have with his clients who may be purchasing a new Kia or Hyundai, saying providers are no longer writing new policies for certain vehicles because of the uptick in thefts, all tracing back to an internet trend. Some of them are saying if this person has this car, we're not going to renew the policy. Some of them are saying if it's an existing client with this vehicle, we want them to take these precautions or we're going to charge them more. Here's a list of just some of the Kia and Hyundai models that have been targets of theft or ones that LeBlanc says insurance providers will no longer write policies for. But if you already own one of these cars, LeBlanc says there are still options. I know that some of the vehicle manufacturers are trying to get ahead of this and mailing out clients uh, that have purchased these year make models. Some form of a fix that will stop these cars from being able to to be stolen in this way. Um, however, I don't think it's happening with enough efficiency. He says things like installing an anti-theft device or selling the car altogether could be your best option for protection. Get the fix done, put the club on the vehicle. Other than that, if you can't get out of the loan or sell it for what you owe on it, um, hang on. Now LeBlanc says that if you're still worried about your insurance, there are options and to get together with your agent to see if there's a plan or a solution that works best for you and your vehicle. Reporting in Spokane, Natalie Grant, 4 News Now. Weather alert days for Wednesday and Thursday for that record-breaking heat. And we're also going to see winds picking up on Thursday, raising concerns about fire danger. In the meantime, a few tips. Early morning walks for pets. Keep your kids hydrated. Oh, take care if you are an outdoor worker. Stay in the shade and check on those elderly family members and neighbors. We'll be right back. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. Saving you green. Shop local at the Tin Roof. Donating your vehicle to UGM Motors is easy. When you drop off a vehicle, you have to sign a paper of, I donated this vehicle. And that was the hardest part. And I didn't have to fill it out. They filled it out for me and had me sign it. Your car, truck, RV, or motorcycle will provide food, shelter, job training, and recovery services at Union Gospel Mission. I think it's a great service to the community. Call 509-327-HELP to schedule a free pickup today. Injured in a car, truck, or motorcycle wreck? Call Russell and Hill, Attorneys at Law. Where real people with real injuries get real results. 24-7, nights and weekends. Free consultations. And there's never a fee unless we win. Choose two. Choose Russell and Hill. Save thousands on the new Revolutionary Swim Spa at a one-time sale. Friday through Sunday. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Exercise with low impact. Swim the entire year and stay in shape. Teach your kids to swim. Unwind and save thousands. Avoid the expense and maintenance involved with a pool. Swim, exercise, and relax in your new aquatic exercise swim spa. Installation and one day only. New 2023 inventory. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833-SPA-SALE. A combination of fun and performance is why Kylie and I are excited to show you the Subaru Crosstrek. The all-wheel drive Crosstrek offers an available 2.5 liter Subaru Boxer engine, giving you extra performance and power unlike anything on or off the road. There's no shortage of space for passengers and a surprising amount of cargo room for your gear. The Crosstrek has an 8-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay connecting you with your favorite apps and navigation. Check out the Subaru Crosstrek and receive no problem customer attention at Parker Subaru in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. Shop local at the Tin Roof. Four things to know about your weather. We have an excessive heat warning through Thursday. Two more days of triple digit heat. It will be hazy at times. Looks like we may be bringing in some wildfire smoke from a fire burning in the northern Cascades overnight. So you may wake up with the haze that should improve as the day goes on. 
it is going to get breezy as we get into Thursday and Friday. And of course, that is the last thing firefighters want to see after these very hot, dry days. 68 for an overnight low tonight. The house is not cooling down much. Tomorrow, a high of 101 degrees with sunny skies. Again, some hazy sunshine in the morning. We have this dome of high pressure over the western United States. It's going to be with us through Wednesday. It will be with us for most of Thursday. Then we are going to start to see some changes late Thursday and into Friday. That's going to cool things down, but it is also going to pick up our winds. Wind gusts right now, it looks like they will be in the 30, possibly 35 mile per hour range on top of this very hot, dry weather that is uh, raising some big concerns about fire danger. And we have a fire weather watch for Thursday and Friday. I suspect this time tomorrow we'll be at a red flag warning uh, for this area. The pink shaded areas are red flag warnings, uh, but we are going to be monitoring that cool air coming in and how that's going to be impacting our winds very closely as we get into Thursday. Our overnight lows tonight, mostly in the 60s and even some 70s. 70 in Coeur d'Alene, 76 in Lewiston, 73 degrees in Grand Coulee and 70 in Omac. Wednesday's highs might be a degree or two cooler in most locations. 101 in Spokane. There's some more 90s on the map than what we saw today. 99 in Pullman, St. Mary's and Coeur d'Alene. 97 in Sandpoint and Kellogg. But we are still going to be very hot and expect very uh, expect similar temperatures for Thursday right around the Spokane area 104 in Nine Mile Mead and downtown 100 in Post Falls and 101 at the airport in Spokane our official reporting station here's a look at your seven day forecast a lot going on over the next seven days back to back weather alert days because of the heat and the added element of the breezy conditions coming in on Thursday firefighters on heightened alert Friday. It is also going to be breezy, but not quite as hot. 92 degrees for our high cooler still for the weekend back down in the 80s with the possibility of some rain coming in late Sunday and into Monday. Fingers crossed that that pans out. 77 on Monday and 82 degrees on Tuesday. Coming up in the next half hour, I'll show you some of the other records that were broken today during this heat snap. Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. And when you're listening to Chris's forecast, it's no surprise when you're stepping out of your front door, there's some blazing heat that's welcoming you right now. Those triple digits in the inland northwest are no joke, and seniors are one of the most vulnerable groups. New at 6, our Peter Choi met with some seniors impacted by this heat and explains cooling resources that are available this summer. Thanks, gentlemen. Thank you. See you soon. A box fan in each hand, a volunteer with an organization Meals on Wheels is on a mission to help the community beat the heat. I'm in a car with volunteer with Meals on Wheels right now. We're heading to a home without AC during this hot weather this week. And the volunteer tells me that handing out fans is essential for many elderly right now uh, to stay cool during this triple digit weather. An apartment complex on Mayfair Street in North Spokane, 62-year-old Jonathan McCauley is struggling to stay cool at home. The weather being brutal, um, uh, most of myself, I'm on, a, I'm on a fixed income, and it makes it difficult to purchase um, uh, air conditioners and fans and the like. Without AC or fans, McCauley has tried many ways to keep his home cool. You open the windows at night, it allows it to cool off. And then you close the windows in the day to keep the heat air out. And then as it gets uh, warmer in the day, you just close your curtains. More than 300 people have received fans this year. The Meals on Reels volunteer says fans are oftentimes the only cooling resource for older adults, especially people who live alone. The residential areas that we go to, mm. they're, all, they're on their own. Mm. Uh, they're not getting people coming in, like the people downtown, they don't have social services, they're just on their own. You might be the only person they see all day. Mm. A lot of them don't even bother to 
cool their house down. They think it's okay, so they just slowly get too hot. We do have fans available at offices right now. Partnering with the Gonzaga University, Spoken Neighborhood Action Partners, or SNAP, is raising a cooling fund to be able to purchase portable AC units. Existing energy clients who have received a grant in the last year that may qualify for an AC unit, freestanding, they would have to um, set that up themselves, but we could make those available to them. Those who receive SNAP energy assistance are encouraged to call the SNAP office to donate fans, order, and have items shipped to the Meals on Reels location. You can find more information on how to help on our website, kxly.com. In Spokane, Peter Choi, 4 News Now. New at 6 o'clock, another $100,000 is coming to Spokane Community College courtesy of legendary heavy metal band Metallica. SEC is the only school in the state to receive the scholarship from the band's All Within My Hands Foundation. The money will go toward enhancing career and technical programs, and the scholarship was created back in 2019, where SEC was one of 10 original recipients. Well, still ahead, Madonna has released the rescheduled dates for her celebration tour. How long you'll have to wait to see her perform at Climate Pledge Arena next on 4 News Now at 6. Download the 4 News Now app today. We all know Spokane seasons. Winter, fake spring, second winter, construction, surface of the sun, and now smoke season. Keep your home smoke free. Breathe easy all year. Holiday heating, cooling, and electric. Your air quality experts. Zero Res doesn't just clean carpets. We also clean area rugs, upholstery, tile and grout, and more. Basically anything you, your kids, or your pets can ruin, with Zero Res, you can have nice things again. Zero Res, a smarter, lasting clean. Did you just buy a new home and don't have a lot of extra cash on hand for furniture? Or are you upsizing your home and need to fill it? Consigned Furniture in Liberty Lake can help by saving you thousands on decorating your home. With over 60,000 square feet of inventory, we have a variety of unique, budget-friendly items that will add value while saving you a ton of money. And the best part? You don't have to overspend. Buy here and save up to 70% off retail with countless designer name brand options to choose from. Consigned Furniture, the smart way to buy, easy way to sell. 4 News Now Firewatch coverage. That fire has grown exponentially. With resources on TV, online, and on the go with the 4 News Now app. Firewatch coverage to keep you safe. That's what we mean when we say expect more on 4 News Now. What's in a name? A question that has never had more relevance. First American Title has been rebranded to Flying S, Title, and Escrow. Since 1905, we've been helping people protect their property rights. When the time comes to choose a title insurance and escrow company, the choice is clear. Flying S, Title, and Escrow. Idaho's longest operating, family-owned title and escrow company is now Flying S, Title, and Escrow. We're not new, but our name is. Spokane's hottest music. Break me fun, so Hot 96.9. At Finley Downtown Toyota, we have some of the best inventory we've had in years. Our lots are packed full of every make and model. And all vehicles come with a three-month, 3,000-mile warranty, making it a great time to visit Finley. We all know Spokane seasons. Winter, fake spring, second winter, construction, surface of the sun, and now smoke season. Keep your home smoke free. Breathe easy all year. Holiday heating, cooling, and electric. Your air quality experts. 4 News Now is brought to you by Fairway Floor. Madonna says she is ready to resume her celebration tour. The tour will now kick off this October in London. She was supposed to perform at Climate Pledge Arena last month, but it was canceled as the pop star was recovering from a bacterial infection. Those shows have been rescheduled to February 17th and 18th. Tickets for previous shows will be honored on the new date. Well, the clock is ticking in Georgia for former President Donald Trump and 18 others indicted there to voluntarily surrender. Tonight at 6, CNN's Ivan Rodriguez has the latest from outside the Fulton County Courthouse. Former President Donald Trump now facing his fourth indictment this year. 
The latest charges are out of Fulton County, Georgia, where Trump and 18 other defendants are named in a 41-count indictment stemming from their alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 election. The defendants include Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani and former Trump White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. The defendants engaged in a criminal racketeering enterprise to overturn Georgia's presidential election result. Former President Trump now facing 91 charges in four different cases, railing against the latest indictment, telling Fox News Digital, quote, this politically inspired indictment, which could have been brought close to three years ago, was tailored for placement right smack in the middle of my political campaign. He's not convicted yet, and he is innocent until proven guilty. Prosecutor Fani Willis says the charges are not politically motivated. She plans to try all 19 defendants to Together and will propose a trial date within the next six months. I make decisions in this office based on the facts and the law. Um, the law is completely nonpartisan. That's how decisions are made in every case. Trump and the 18 other defendants have been given until noon next Friday, August 25th, to turn themselves in. We've planned for months to really understand the day, the day to day, uh, really coverage of what this looks like. And I've said this before, we're ready. In Atlanta, I'm Ivan Rodriguez. Well, around the Northwest, today, Vice President Kamala Harris spoke in Seattle on the Biden administration's economic plan. Since we took office, President Biden and I have created more than 13 million new jobs, including nearly 400,000 jobs right here in Washington state. The vice president's visit comes ahead of the one year anniversary of President Biden signing the Inflation Reduction Act. When the president signed the law last August, the consumer price index was 8.5%. Last month, it was down to 3.2%. Well, still ahead, the new jail initiative that has both sides of the ballot box wanting more. Find out what your vote on measure one could do for Spokane up next. And 99 deaths have been confirmed as a result of the catastrophic wildfire in Maui. Hear why Hawaii's governor warns that number could double in the coming days. Up next on 4 News Now. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. Send them back to school looking and seeing their best. Get premium eyewear and A-plus patient care from the experienced team at Shopco Optical. Cross off eye exams on your back to school checklist. Schedule their comprehensive exam today. This summer, happiness is a new Chevy. You can go farther, tow more, and bring along everyone you love. Your road to happiness begins in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab LT Turbo Max pickups or get $6,000 total cash allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. Are you ready to step into the future of transportation? At Bills Heating and AC, we're here to power your journey with convenient electric vehicle charging solutions. Take advantage of incredible tax credits and incentives available right now for EV charger installations. Our expert team can install chargers compatible with most makes or models of electric vehicles. Contact us now to learn more about our EV charger installations. Together, let's drive towards a cleaner and greener world. This is delightful. We've gone from a restrictive budget to more fun more often, all because we signed up for a dividend earning Casasa checking account from Canopy Credit Union. It earns us a high dividend rate of up to 4.07% annual percentage yield on up to $25,000. If you do the math, that's up to $84 we can earn in extra cash deposited right into our savings account every month, automagically. Learn more at canopycu.com. Limits and conditions apply. Be advised. This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to save 40 to 80% on a hot tub and swim spa Friday through Sunday. Major manufacturers and warehouses clearance of new 2023 inventory. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Over 100 hot tubs on display and everything must go. See the revolutionary swim spa. You can exercise, swim, and relax without the expense and maintenance of a pool. Hot tubs starting at $29.95. All inventory 40 to 80% off. 18-month interest-free financing. Trade-ins welcome. Free delivery. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833 spa sale. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Shopco Optical welcomes more insurance plans than ever. Call to book an exam and verify coverage. Live from downtown Spokane. 
This is 4 News Now at 6.30. We are continuing to follow breaking news out of Kootenai County tonight. Level 3 evacuation still in place for the entire city of Athol. While fire crews are battling a wildfire from the ground and in the air, this fire is burning on the Sarah Loop, which is south of Highway 54 and northwest of Silverwood. Our Vanessa Perez is live in Athol tonight. And Vanessa, we got an update from you about 30 minutes ago. What can you tell us at this hour? That's right. Well, the fire is about 60 acres and partially lined. I'm here with Chief Christopher Way from Kootenai County Fire and EMS. And what can you tell us? Of, what can you tell us about the fire? Uh, well, we actually have a little bit of good news this evening. Um, so it grew to about 60 acres in size. That's just an estimate, but we think it's about 60 acres in size. Right now, we've got six, uh, 70 to 80 percent containment, uh, which we're really happy about. The air assets helped us a lot. The Idaho Department of Lands had air assets on the fire very quickly. And so that uh, it was big. We had 10 to 12 aircraft fighting the fire, which really kept it from reaching the town of Athol. It got very near the town of Athol. We're hoping uh, to continue to evaluate over the next two hours or so that containment. If we can get a, a, a little bit of additional line on the fire, we're going to feel very comfortable in lifting the evacuations later this evening. Awesome. Lots of good information there. Um, is there anything else that people in the area need to look out for? Yeah, we still have roads blocked. I mean, there's still a lot of firefighters working. So we called a fourth alarm. We went to a fourth alarm for Kootenai County, which brought at least 28 apparatus that I could count into the fire. And then uh, IDL had about uh, plus people. And then IDL had about, or the Idaho Department of Lands had about 150 uh, people. They pulled off the Ridge Creek fire uh, to bring over. So, I mean, all told, we've still got a ton of firefighters working in the area. Safety is still our number one concern. We obviously know people want to get back in their residences uh, and onto their property, but we don't want to do that too soon. We want to make sure the fire is truly out and it's safe for people to return. Thank you. Lots of good information there. Uh, we'll continue to track this fire closely and continue to bring you updates throughout the show and also on KXLY.com. Live in Athol, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now. A very good update coming from our Vanessa Perez live in Athol there. We are hoping to see those evacuation orders lifted in the in the evening. So we'll continue to update you, all of our viewers. Uh, I've just received a couple of messages on social media from people uh, who are concerned. So we'll continue to update you. And Chris, this has just been a difficult firefight. Uh, right, and you can see the response all hands on deck, a quick response, and firefighters are going to be ready to go for the next several days because of our extreme fire conditions, and they are going to get even more treacherous as we get into Thursday and our winds pick up, and that is another one of the reasons we have added Thursday to our list of weather alert days. Today for the heat, Wednesday for the heat, and Thursday for that combination of record-breaking heat as well as gusty winds that are coming in and I'll be talking more about that in just a bit but first let's talk about the excessive heat warning it continues through Thursday for the area shaded in pink on your screen it is a heat advisory in orange but it is not much cooler once you get into that orange shaded area it is hot across the entire region here's a look at our current temperatures 101 in Spokane 100 in Coeur d'Alene in the 90s in Colville Sandpoint and Bonner Ferry. It's 98 right now in Pullman, but 106 in Lewiston, right around the Spokane area. Temperatures are in the triple digits, digits just about everywhere you go, including 104 in Nine Mile and in downtown Spokane. Tonight, lows will be dropping into the 60s in most locations, 70 in Coeur d'Alene. It is going to be a tough night to be without air conditioning, a tough night even with air conditioning. It's going to be working overtime 70 in uh, OMAC, 73 in Grand Coulee, 76 in Lewiston. Your forecast for Wednesday, some hazy sunshine to start the day, wildfire smoke coming in from uh, 
fires burning in the north cascades then we'll be in the sunny and hot weather 101 84 is our average high i'll be back to tell you about some of the records we broke today and about that fire weather watch for thursday and friday that's coming up in just a few minutes kirsten thank you chris with this week's record breaking temperatures it's important to find cool spaces to enjoy your summer and through thursday of this week spokane public libraries will act as cooling centers. The centers will be available at six Spokane Public Library locations from 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. In addition to acting as a cooling center, the libraries will continue their summer activity series for kids. So daily they have story time availabilities for kids in addition to their hands-on learning programs. We have done our best to make this place a comfortable, with comfortable seating, with plenty of places to plug in devices, Wi-Fi and computers, as well as books galore, magazines, audiobooks, and play structures. Some of the best play structures, in my humble opinion. For more information on Spokane Public Library's cooling centers and that summer activity schedule, you can visit our website, kxly.com. Well, there are 175 inmates at Geiger Correction Center and 655 at the Spokane Jail downtown. Both facilities are full, understaffed, and outdated. A new jail initiative has caused controversy. Measure 1 would add a 0.2% sales tax increase that would generate $1.7 billion in the next 30 years, and that would go toward improving criminal justice programs and building a new jail. Both sides believe upgrades are necessary, but opponents say they want more transparency. And there are concerns over how 40% of that money will be spent. Our Marissa Rio went inside the jail today, and she has more on the current conditions. This is an empty cell on the max security floor. They need empty cells on this floor in case two inmates get in a fight. The Spokane County Jail is built to serve 462 inmates. There are currently over 650. When the population gets too much and we don't have available space upstairs to separate them, we'll move them down to the booking area and we'll have to tie up one of the booking area cells to hold them in. Opponents of Measure 1 agree improvements are needed, but there are other ways to do it. Investments in public safety and treatment facilities are a few. A tweet from mayoral candidate Lisa Brown says this top-down approach without city-county coordination and public involvement should be rejected. The Spokane County Jail is full. Sparber says they have to put two, sometimes three inmates in a one-person cell. The Geiger Correction Center has no elevators and no AC. There are two outdated water heaters that often need repairs. If both were to ever go out, Staff would have to transport all the inmates downtown. There's not rooms for everybody downtown. They would be sleeping in day rooms and unsecure areas. We just, we would have to do it. We're prepared for it. We dread that. 40% of the money generated from taxes is millions of dollars. Without a clear plan on how that will be used, City Council member Zach Sapone says city officials need more time. He tweeted, while we all think the current jail conditions are inadequate, we need more time to collaborate. He is requesting they defer the ballot measure until August 2024. Voters will have the opportunity to vote on Measure 1 come November. For more information, you can go to our website at kxly.com. Reporting in Spokane, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now. At least 99 people have been killed by the wildfire on Maui. Hawaii's governor warns that number could double within the coming days. CNN's Gloria Pasmino has the latest. It's unclear how many people remain unaccounted for as the death toll on Maui continues to rise. It will go up very significantly. The president addressing the federal response on Tuesday. I've spoken to Governor Josh Green multiple times and reassured him the state will have everything it needs from the federal government. Residents who want to return home to assess the damage are facing challenges. It's just hard and unbelievable. Outside West Maui, frustrated family members are waiting. Officials suspended an access plan after just one day, saying too many non-residents and others tried to get entry. My dad's still there. There's certain things that he still needs that we need to get to him specifically, um, like medicine. If people go into Ground Zero too soon, our responders, our FEMA folks, will not be able to do the job that they are there to do. The entire catastrophic chain of events and the official response, now the focus of a state investigation. I've 
personally authorized a comprehensive review so we have every answer going forward. For now, the island spirit of family has given many survivors hope. It's a big ohana here on the island, so everyone's doing the same thing. We're all chipping in, we're doing our best. On Maui, I'm Gloria Pasmina reporting. Still ahead, Washington State's new indoor practice facility is another step closer to construction. When the university plans to break ground, coming up in sports. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Craig Swap and Associates. America, it's the Discover Summer Sales Event. This is your summer to smile, to raise your glass and reconnect, to reel in the fun and savor every bite. To help you get ready, your Aspen Dental team is celebrating 25 years of affordable care with an epic Summer of Smiles event. Don't miss enjoying a moment with our on-site labs to help you fast and 20% off your denture care. So whether you need a new look or a quick fix, you can celebrate with a smile all season, always at Aspen Dental. Book today. From the 5 a.m. morning regulars, to those gotta fit it in lunchtime rush business goers, to the fizzy moms that need child care so they can just have a little time to themselves, Move Fitness is here for you. Serving up the largest variety of workout options in Spokane with a new location opening soon to provide you the best results for your workout needs. Move Fitness. Join the movement. At P1FCU, we're all about celebrating your wins, like finding a great parking spot, yes. or winning the lottery. I won! I won! Your wins add up, just like earning 3.50% APY in an Ascend checking account. So let's celebrate the wins together. Come on! Open your account at p1fcu.org forward slash win. P1FCU, your community, your credit union. America, come along with our adventure seekers, the Sanchez family, and discover summer with the Ford F-150. Lease a well-equipped 2023 F-150 for just $3.99 a month, only at your local Ford dealer. The judge accused of killing his wife. Next in some edition, the shocking text he sent his colleagues. I won't be in tomorrow. I will be in custody because he just allegedly shot his wife to death. Was it an accident or something more sinister? The judge who is now a defendant. Then, snorkel cruise off the coast of Maui. After all the people have been through the tone death excursion. Shame on this company. Next in some edition. Watch 4 News now at 6 and Inside Edition at 7. Record high temperature today, 102. Our previous record, 99, set back in 1901. Couple of other records, Lewiston getting up to 109 today, 105. The previous record set way back in 1897, not too long after we started keeping records. Wenatchee, 104. The previous record, 101, set back in 1967. Some very old records falling today and haven't compiled all of them yet. There may be more because look at all of the triple digits on the map, including 101 in St. Mary's. It was 102 today in Coeur d'Alene, 100 in Bonners Ferry and Colville, 108 degrees in Omac and 104 in Moses Lake. We are going to get some relief, but it is going to be a mixed blessing. We'll have two more days of triple digits, including Thursday. Then we start to see this cold front coming in late Thursday and end Friday. We'll feel the cool down on Friday, but the gusty winds in association with this front's approach will show up on Thursday. A hot and windy day uh, with such dry conditions. That is a recipe for a fire disaster. That is why we have a fire weather watch for Thursday and Friday will very likely be upgraded to a red flag warning. Uh, we saw today how quickly the firefighters sprang into action in Apple and they will be ready to pounce uh, on Thursday and Friday as well. 
Our high temperatures tomorrow, they are going to be in the triple digits once again in many locations. 101 in Spokane would tie the record for tomorrow. So we're going to be right up in record territory again tomorrow, right around the Spokane area, well into the triple digits in Nine Mile, Mead, and downtown. 103 in Spokane Valley and 101 in Liberty Lake. Here's a look at your planning forecast. Breezy conditions through Friday, and it does cool down finally back down around average by Sunday possibly including the chance of rain, something we'll be tracking very closely as the weekend approaches, Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. Here's a look at ABC's primetime lineup tonight. Download the 4 News Now app today. It may be summer, but now's the time to see Falco's and plan for cooler days ahead with a Cozy Heat gas fireplace. Choose from over 35 models on display and get the Cozy Heat best suited for your needs, all with special summer savings. Cozy Heat at Falco's, 9310 East Sprague. In the heart of the Pacific Northwest, where hard work meets rugged beauty, there's a family that relies on the best, relies on powerful Kubota tractors and personal equipment support. They stand for hard work and dedication, shown in their pastures and animals. From fertile valleys to steep hillsides, Adams Tractor is here to support the backbone of the Northwest. We are your trusted Kubota dealership with five locations to serve your needs. Visit AdamsTractor.com. Set summer in motion with the most electrifying Honda vehicles yet, like the CRV and the Accord, both with available hybrid powertrains designed to deliver more thrilling performance and more innovative tech. Make every adventure more electrifying with Honda, the most awarded brand in car and driver 10 best history. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Introducing the pizza so nice, we pepperoni it twice. The new double pepperoni crazy crust pizza from Little Caesars. Picture this, classic pepperoni and crispy curly old world pepperoni sprinkled with toasted cheeses, finished with a garlic parmesan crust that must be seen in slow-mo to be believed. Holy moly, are you picturing this? Get a large double pepperoni crazy crust for just $8.99. Available all day or hot and ready from 4 to 8 p.m. Only at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. Be advised. This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to save 40 to 80% on a hot tub and swim spa Friday through Sunday. Major manufacturers and warehouses clearance of new 2023 inventory. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Over 100 hot tubs on display and everything must go. See the revolutionary swim spa. You can exercise, swim, and relax without the expense and maintenance of a pool. Hot tubs starting at $29.95. All inventory 40 to 80% off. 18-month interest-free financing. Trade-ins welcome. Free delivery. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833-SPA-SALE. It may be summer, but now's the time to see Falco's and plan for cooler days ahead with a Cozy Heat gas fireplace. Choose from over 35 models on display and get the Cozy Heat best suited for your needs, all with special summer savings. Cozy Heat at Falco's, 9310 East Sprague. 4 News Now is brought to you by Finley Downtown Toyota. Well, welcome to MTV Cribs, Washington State edition. This would be, I'm Julian Minnesota. Welcome into sports. Now, it's not a Beverly Hills mansion, but to a football fan, well, this is the next best thing. Washington State is another step closer to opening that new fancy football practice home. Now, WC President Kirk Schultz says they plan to break ground on the new indoor practice facility during the weekend of the Wisconsin game. The Taylor Sports Complex, as it's called, will include a state-of-the-art synthetic turf, improved lighting, and will allow Washington State teams, not just football, to train year-round. Now, the facility is expected to be complete by next year. Washington State quarterback Cameron Ward was named to the Manning Award watch list, given to the best QB in the nation. Ward started in every single game for the Cougars last season. He was an All-Pac-12 honorable mention, and he's expected to be the starter once again when the Cougars open the season on September 2nd at Colorado State. Washington State soccer kicks off this week. The Cougars will take on Eastern Washington on Thursday. And a lot of the talk during this offseason has been about conference realignment in football. But the shift in the Pac-12 also impacts other sports such as soccer. Cougars head coach Todd Schulenberger is keeping his team focused throughout the uncertainty. We got to handle what we got to handle in front of us right now. And that's my team and we're getting ready for Thursday night. So, uh, you know, it's what's going on in college sports, right? And uh, 
I'm not so sure they really care what a soccer coach says, which is totally fine. Um, it's just I got to worry about my team and my job moving these kids forward right now, and that's my main focus right now. Washington State season opens against Eastern Washington at 7 p.m. Thursday night in Pullman. And while the Pac-12 searches for its new media rights deal, the WCC made some major moves today. The WCC and ESPN extended their media rights contract, and the conference is expanding the way you watch, let's say, a Gonzaga basketball game. ESPN will continue to show 17 men's basketball games and the men's and women's WCC championship games, but any game that isn't televised on ESPN or CBS Sports Network will be available on ESPN Plus starting this upcoming season. This includes men's and women's basketball, men's and women's soccer, volleyball, water polo, baseball, and softball. And that'll wrap us up for sports. We'll be right back. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. E.T.'s Wonder Years exclusive. Right here at the happiest place on Earth. On the set of their Disneyland takeover. I don't think you can get more cooler than that. Next E.T. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Entertainment Tonight at 7.30. 4 News Now Firewatch coverage. That fire has grown exponentially. With resources on TV, online, and on the go with the 4 News Now app. Firewatch coverage to keep you safe. That's what we mean when we say expect more on 4 News Now. We all know Spokane seasons. Winter, fake spring, second winter, construction, surface of the sun, and now smoke season. Keep your home smoke free. Breathe easy all year. Holiday heating, cooling, and electric. Your air quality experts. When I was told I had a brain tumor, my life disappeared in a moment. I feared for my future, but even more, I feared for the ones I love. How would they move on without me? But when my doctor told me about the Gamma Knife of Spokane, everything changed. I can get my brain tumor treated in just one day and continue living the life I love. Because of Gamma Knife, I have hope. Whether it's a nasty spill, a mess from your pet, or it's been way too long since your last professional cleaning, schedule your appointment with the experts at Zero Res and we'll do the dirty work for you. Zero Res, a smarter, lasting clean. At Kaiser Permanente, we care for all those who make your family, well, your family. That's why all of us work together to give them the care and caring that any family would. Kaiser Permanente, for all that is you. This summer, happiness is a new Chevy. You can go farther, tow more, and bring along everyone you love. Your road to happiness begins in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab LT TurboMax pickups or get $6,000 total cash allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. We all know Spokane seasons. Winter, fake spring, second winter, construction, surface of the sun, and now smoke season. Keep your home smoke free. Breathe easy all year. Holiday heating, cooling, and electric. Your air quality experts. Har, family owned since 1930. Go where the builders go. What are you going to build? Back to that breaking news in Kootenai County. Evacuation still in effect for the city of Athol in Idaho. A wildfire there is burning on the Sarah Loop, which is south of Highway 54 and northwest of Silverwood. Let's send it back to our Vanessa Perez one last time. And Vanessa, what have you learned in the last 15 minutes? That's right. Well, the fire has burned about 60 acres and it's 70 to 80 percent contained. There are a lot of resources on this fire in the air and also on the ground. Idaho State Lands is still asking everyone to steer clear of the area. I spoke to the Kootenai County Fire and EMS chief just a couple minutes ago, and he says that evacuations, they hope to lift evacuations within a couple hours. Live in Athol, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now. Vanessa, thank you for that update. She's been providing incredible updates for for us from Athol. We will have more for you on Nightside starting at 11 o'clock.